What up, guys? <laughs> Bad intro already. <laughs> What's up, guys? Your boy Gus from Gus Villa Jewelry is back. And this time, my boy Creep is making me react to these awful, awful TikTok videos. I hate doing these, but we're going to do them anyway. Let's see what Gen Z is up to. Let's get this thing popping. Let's go. <laughs> First up, uh, God, this is going to be so bad. Let's see it. Here we go. Got too much ice. Who the hell is that? Oh, that's a disgusting bracelet on that roly. Jesus. Damn, those are some big. Oh, that's um, that's little baby. That's little baby. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, well, first off, all his shit is actually probably real. He's got pro well over a kilo. I don't know what kind of custom bracelet he has on that Rolex. It's awful i can tell you that much probably has well over half a million dollars worth of diamonds and gold those are all custom pieces that's a sick collection but nevertheless i would not ever recommend anyone wear that many chains he probably has like 25 bodyguards around him so it's probably a good idea that he does that but yeah it's probably all real probably over five hundred thousand dollars probably more than that to be honest with you and yes little baby it's your boy it's your boy little baby I would never ever be caught dead in those chains. Uh, no, they got it's a bunch of custom pendants and stuff like that. So it, I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know. Yeah, if I'd wear any of that myself. Uh, he's got some memory pendants. Looks like he has some dog tags in there. A couple of uh, crosses. I don't know what the hell he has. All I know that those shits are expensive, and they're probably moist tonight. Watch out now, nah. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, next video. Oh my God. I can already tell this is going to be so cringe. Let's do this. Oh my, is that a dude? Is that a little kid? It's Bushin. Oh my God. Oh, what is it? Oh, he did a little. Is that a kid? Is that, it looks like a prepubescent kid. I don't know what that is, but that's horrifying. Oh, okay, now he's shooting. Oh, glossy nails. Glossy nails. I can tell you for sure. I mean, that's Maza New York. That, all that is actually real. I have no idea who this kid is. I don't know what, this girl, this boy, no idea who it is. The absolute uh, beast of a chain they have on, that's a kilo chain for sure, guaranteed. The lock is humongous on that thing. Squashy. <laughs> Can you stop saying that? What the hell? They got a Cartier Santos, obviously bust out, obviously. The chain, probably 80,000 to $100,000 easily with all those things, probably way more than that because if it's a kilo chain, just in the chain itself, you're talking at least 35 to 45 grand. Plus in diamonds, you're talking another $80,000, double stack. Yeah, you got you got easily 200 to $300,000. That Santos is worth about 25 to 35,000 fully bust down. So it's a beast. It's That's a monster setup. I would never catch myself wearing that either. However, it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. And it's Mazda New York. They know what they're doing. All that's just legit. Let's get it popping on the next video. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh my God. See, okay, this isn't practical, right? So these grills aren't something that you could wear on a daily basis. First off, that just shit looks just crazy. He's got a cool ass chain on though. It's like a cool poker chain style looking thing. I don't know, it's not like the conventional links, but what I was to my point about the grills, those grills, you can't talk in them because they lock specifically one on top of each other. If you see when he shuts his mouth there like this and your jaw and your teeth move kind of to the side. So it, they're just for show and they're they're well done though. They're badass. It looks like he has some sort of colored diamonds in there, maybe some emeralds or something like that. A grill like that, you're probably costing just in grills is probably like, 30 40 50 thousand dollars i mean that's a really really expensive setup i don't know who this kid is i have no idea he looks freaky as all hell with those crazy ass grills i'm sure you guys are gonna tell me in the comment section who it is but i have no idea who it is nor do i care really but dope setup dope jewelry so far it hasn't been anything crazy really to be honest with you move on to the next let's go all right Oh, he's got a little, he's like, like a bicycle chain or like a bike chain. Yeah, like a motorcycle chain. Oh, fire. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's NLG Choppas. Oh, that's fire. That's really, 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 really hard uh, to bust down. I mean, 
just a, the, the initial design of that it's a bike chain right so it's not like the craziest thing in the world because it's not the most unique design but just it just looks really clean right that's really clean work you can tell it's fully iced out you can tell it has some weight to it as well that's a beautiful chain a really unique design i've seen it before but i it's not something that is for everyone so you rarely see it number one actually finished and then number two bust down there's a lot of intricate parts to that chain just the craftsmanship and the work from a jewelry standpoint really really impressive i don't know how much that thing would probably cost probably for someone like tim because he's a famous rapper they're gonna overcharge him he probably paid over a hundred thousand dollars for that piece but realistically in my shop or something like that for the common person it's gonna be anywhere from 60 to seventy thousand dollars however beautiful piece beautiful craftsmanship and a really badass idea to be honest with you that is very very well done down to the next so this oof oh that's gorgeous brother that is cool that's a gorgeous piece man oh the from the diamonds the diamond setting the gemstones in that that is absolutely beautiful brother that i mean look man from a jewelry standpoint this piece is incredible there's so much detail work in the diamonds uh you could tell that they're different style pieces either that or there's been rhodium uh washed over jesus's face to differentiate the beard as well it's an absolutely stunning piece i can't see what kind of gemstones those are they could also be colored diamonds but i doubt that they're fancy colored diamonds more than likely this is a rose gold mix it's it looks gorgeous this piece like this this is over a hundred thousand dollar pendant easy easy and it's and it's gorgeous i would wear this i i would wear that like if i have a big event or there's something that's going on and i need to wear that I, this is a piece that i would wear because this is art this starts blending the lines about what's art and what's fashion and i think pieces like this that are so incredibly intricate that are that are that are actually well thought out and well executed is the future of jewelry it now is beginning to not just be about how much diamonds even though this particular piece is flooded out it's now about the beauty and unique style of, of jewelry making. And this is a prime example of something like that being well executed and being well done. There's a sliding knife on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see it. Oh, okay. Let me just play that one more time. I may have missed that the first time. Hold on. Oh, and the knife comes out. Oh, that's, that's dope. That's, that's one of the best pendants I've seen on any rapper. 21 Savage, you killed that, bro. Whoever made you that piece, thumbs up, brother. Let's go to the next one. Right now, we're about to cash out some jewelry, man. How much you looking at right here? Oh. Right, we're looking at about like 1300 What is that little 20, thing? 35,000, 4,000. Uh, Ooh. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, Why does that guy look like that? 50, 50, 50. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up with that kid? Oh, you got that. You got that cash money. No, don't care what you look like, player. <laughs> It don't matter. All of a sudden, you look good, my man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 40, 50. Oh, this is so staged. This is, dude, no one. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Let me fast forward. You counting. Oh, of course. My boy. Let's put him on. Oh, my God. That guy looks like a cartoon character, my G. Ugh. All right, let me tell you something. That that bracelet right there is not four grand for sure. That's super overcharged for that bracelet. No way, that thing is four grand. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, little man J. Yeah, I'm done watching that. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, I can't really see the detail of any of those pieces. I can tell you for sure this is a super staged TikTok. Little man J looks like he crawled out of a sewers. Uh, no, that's just horrible. His jewelry was all right. I mean, nothing there looks really spectacular. More than likely he got overcharged because if he pointed at that bracelet and he said four grand, that's crazy. But then again, you know what I mean? The they do it for the TikTok. All this is 100% staged. No one is ever going to do anything like this. But, you know, whatever. Whatever gets you clicks. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Nice pieces, little man, Jay. Dude, what's up with your hair, my guy? You look like a, you look like you belong in a Grease movie or something. I don't know. That's crazy. Anyway, next video. Here we go. Oh, I know this guy. This is Future. Is it Future? Or is it Offset? Oh, Offset? <laughs> Sorry. This is like right. 18,000. 
8,000 to bust down the I'm here glasses? Come on for the rest of the that's video. wild. They too hard. I but hey, that's, that's what some glasses. of these rappers be paying. I use drip glasses. Yeah, <laughs> nah, sir. but let me tell you something though. I'm a big, look, I'm not a fan of customizing anything. When it comes to watches, I'm a big watch guy. I hate, I hate, I hate when people put diamonds in their watches. I'm a big watch guy. I'm a big horology guy. Anyone who knows me personally knows I'm a huge fan of watches. Don't bust them down ever. However, my disgusting guilty pleasure is busting down Cartier glasses. I love glasses and there's something about busting down the glasses that's, you know, I don't know why I like it. Don't tell me why I can't explain to you why it's disgusting. If I get destroyed in the comment section, you guys all tell me I'm an animal because I love it. I don't care. I like it and I'm going to keep doing it. And I like a little bust down glasses, holla at me. So anyway, that wraps it up. I hope you guys like this type of content. Creep is always gonna make me fee uh, do these stupid things. I don't know why, I hate them. I hate looking at TikTok to be honest with you, but some of this stuff was actually pretty impressive. And to be honest with you, it, it's 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 what's popping right now. Uh, really, really beautiful custom pieces. We do those kind of things right here. If you guys are interested in very intricate pieces with beautiful enamel work, I don't know if you guys saw my live or my other posts, but we're talking about it. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these detailed high-end pieces. So if you're in the market for bust down chains, Cubans, pendants, and glasses, let me know. Holla at me, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go.